Hey guys, and welcome back to the MSR Workshop. So today we are gonna talk about dust collection for your drill press. I know that's a tough thing for a lot of people. For me, it's been a tough thing for a long time. Even though I've got a port right behind my bit, it tends to throw chips everywhere and still makes a mess. Especially if you've used a big Forstner bit, even if you've got a port right behind it, it doesn't get the chips that are out here and it tends to throw them everywhere and make a mess. Well, that's kind of led me down a little bit of a rabbit hole, but I think I've come up with a pretty good solution and I want to share it with you all. So stick around. So in the process of looking for a solution, I went on the internet and looked for something that was already made to improve dust collection. Now, typically you'd see something like this, which is you could pick it up at Woodcraft or, you know, a number of your woodworking stores where it just fits in right here. And then, you know, a portion of the shavings get caught with the suction here. But I wanted something that caught the stuff out here that my suction wasn't strong enough to pull in. So I really didn't find anything good that I liked that met all the needs that I was looking for. So next I went and thought about making something of my own and that's where my 3D printer came in. My son got a 3D printer for Christmas and so I thought about designing something myself that would incorporate all the needs that I was looking for as well as, you know, me being able to make it. So the design that I sort of came up with was based off of something is used for drilling drywall with, you know, a shop vac. So this would normally hook to a shop vac and you drill through here and it collects the dust. Well, that type of drilling was a lot smaller and I wanted to be able to do something a lot larger and also be able to hook it up to a, a two and a half inch port. So what I did was I went ahead and enlarged the design. This will fit into a two inch port as well as allow for really large Forstner bits to be able to drill in here as well and still catch all of those shavings. So this would fit right on here and it does fit a little bit snug. This sits right on top of the material that you're going to be drilling and then you drill within this circle here. When the suction's on, it collects all of the dust. There's no chips or anything thrown out and it does a pretty good job of actually sucking itself down to your workpiece. Now because you have such a large area here, it's not a vacuum where you're going to have to be able to let go and it's going to stay. But with this pretty stiff rubber uh, or rigid tubing back here, you can kind of position it and kind of let go and it does a great job. So I'm going to zoom in here and show you how it works, how good of a job it does, and um, let you see for yourself. So the first bit we're going to try out is a quarter inch twist bit on a piece of, oh, I'm going to say half inch plywood and it would just go under like that and we turn our dust collector on. Alexa, turn the vacuum on. So as you can see, this works really, really well. Now let's put a bigger bit in it so you guys can see with a big bit how good this works. So now we're going to use a one and a half inch Forstner bit. No mess on my workspace whatsoever. Let's do that one more time. Well guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be sure and leave links for those prints down below so you can print and make your own. 
If you have any questions or comments, be sure and leave those below, but also hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.